안녕하십니까 니콜라스입니다 and today we are going to build a python instagram bot this is because this little one just opened her instagram account and she has no followers so using the power of python and automation we are going to try to make her insta famous let's get started okay so here's the plan what our bot is going to do is that it's gonna go to a hashtag of Instagram, it's going to like photos on that hashtag, it's also going to comment on those photos, and then it's going to go to the profile of the people posting those photos, and it's going to follow them. If you don't know how automation works on the browser, it basically works with something called Python and Selenium. Selenium is a project that allows you to basically automate your browser. So it's like a Google Chrome, controlled by Python. Thing is that it's very easy to detect users that are using Selenium and Instagram is investing a lot of time in blocking such people. But still, I am going to try to implement this bot using Selenium and if it doesn't work and if I get blocked, we're still gonna try to do the automation using my Android. Maybe you didn't know this, but it is possible to send Python commands to Android. You can literally say, open app, boom, you can say take photo, you can say tap here, you can do all those things from Python to your Android phone. So I'm gonna be doing all these tests with a throwaway account, with a disposable account in case I get blocked. Once I have all that set up, then we're going to do it with the real account. All right, so my bot is going to log in into Instagram. We're going to dismiss the pop-ups. Then we're gonna search for a popular hashtag, in this case, BTS Army. Then we're going to scroll down a lot so we can get a lot of photos. And then on each photo that we found, we're going to like, comment, and follow the person who posted the photo. Now we're going to do this very fast and very often, so hopefully we don't get blocked. As you saw, we just got blocked. Not actually blocked, we got rate limited. What that means is that Instagram told us that we're doing things too fast, so slow down. They don't know that we are a bot yet. What they know is that we are doing things very fast. So I stopped the bot, I changed the settings a little bit, and now it's gonna be even slower. We're going to follow and like, but we're going to wait like a minute or a minute and a half between actions. So hopefully they're not gonna tell us that we're doing things too quickly anymore. Funny enough, the disposable account that I created just to test this thing it's already getting followers. So that means that this concept of liking photo, commenting and following people works. We get following back. It's already working. We got like two or three already, but still, it's fun. In any ways, I'm gonna keep running this and we're going to see how many follow back we get from the BTS army. I didn't test this bot with the Beagle hashtag just because I don't want to spam that hashtag yet. I wanna spam this one first. Now, what I'm gonna do is still, I'm going to start to work on the bot for our Android phone. So the bot is gonna open Instagram. We're gonna go to the search and explore. We tap on search. Then we paste the hashtag. We select the first hashtag. Then we go to recent. We tap the first photo. Then we press like. Then we go to comments. We try to comment, but we will be blocked, which is okay. Then we will follow the person who posted the hashtag. And then we repeat with the next photo on the list. All right, so as you just saw, the bot is working pretty well. We can automate our Android phone using Python, which is awesome and it opens up my mind for so many other ideas of apps I can automate. I am going to increase the level of complexity just a little bit and let me explain why. On the phone, it's very easy to tap here, tap there and all that stuff, but it's very hard to keep track of the photos that I am liking. And it's very hard to find the photos to like because I have to scroll, and I have to go back and scroll again. It's just very annoying. It's very easy to find the photos on the browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them both. On the browser, I am going to just get as many photos as I can and I'm gonna get the URLs of those photos. And then I am gonna open those URLs on the phone. And the Android is going to open the Instagram application. And on the Instagram application, I am gonna be liking, commenting and following. All right, so on the browser, we get the URLs, and once we have a good amount, then we force open that on the phone. And on the phone, we do the process, like, comment, and follow. All right, as you can see, it works. We can mix our browser with our Android bot, and now it's great. I can get the photos from my browser, and I can force the app opening on my Android. Awesome stuff. So, 
Next step is to actually do this with my Doggies account, which so far has zero followers. I already uploaded some photos on my Doggies account to make it look natural. Let me show you how everything looks like from the point of view of my doggy, and I will see you once this is done. Okay, so our bot has made some progress and I think I have good news, but before we move on to that, I wanna talk about this. As you can see, I am wearing a beautiful full stack hoodie. This is because we are launching our Nomad Colors 2020 merch. This year, we have full stacks hoodie, that say full stack on the front, they have a coat on the back. We also have a bunch of new and old stickers that people loved and wanted to buy again. And we also have a nice notebook that you can use to write down your goals. We wanted to do this merch because we are celebrating also that we made 200,000 subscribers this year. We wanted to thank you for your support and your appreciation. We really value you, we appreciate you, and we don't take you for granted. Thank you so much for being here. And also, we wanted to announce that this is a non-profit project. This merch and all the profits from this merch are going to be donated to a doggy shelter here in South Korea. So the link is in the description, so go and check it out. All right, and now onto the results. This bot was running for less than 24 hours and we already have 100 followers, which is not bad at all. I ran the bot very, very slowly, maybe commenting on five photos, commenting on seven photos, following seven people very, very slowly, but it looks like it worked. 24 hours, 100 followers is not bad and I'm very, very surprised that it worked this well. It is true that it's hard to detect bot activity on the phone, but I did get blocked. I cannot comment anymore and I haven't been able to comment since last night. This morning, I could comment again, but then again, I got blocked. So maybe I am using the same text or I'm commenting too quickly, I still don't know, but it looks like Instagram has no problem with me following and liking people and liking photos as much as I want. I was doing it really fast and nothing happened, but commenting, it looks like they are being careful there. 24 hours, 100 followers, I'm happy. And now you, let me know what you think on the comments of this video. Do you want to see the source code or would you like to see me explain the source code? I don't know, maybe that's boring, but you let me know on the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Don't forget to check out the link. Remember, we're going to donate all the profits to a doggy shelter. Stay safe, be happy. Bye-bye.